All right, vampires. Okay. Finally got a match after about half an hour of waiting. And it's... Random boy 987's somebody, isn't he? Oh my god. The fuck is this? Um, that's a... That's a vampire, isn't it? Um, block mighty blow tackle. That's that's not bad, is it? For kitten ghouls. Movement blood side steps good as well. Dodge. Dirty player. Couple the rest of the guard. Pretty good team, really. Fourteen, thirteen players. But uh, not such a great record. But that's a fucking great vampire. Well, he's not really great. He hasn't got blodge. When he gets blodge, he'll be great. Nice kit as well. Ah, oh, thanks, Johnny Five. Johnny Five with the stats. The stats man. <laughs> Thing is, he's not even that that bloaty because, obviously, being able he can. Uh, he can fucking gaze anybody, can't he? Like, doesn't really care about tackle zones that much. Two plus with a minus one modifier is ridiculous. Like, an edge five. An edge five gaze is fucking scary enough. It's simply not true. The <laughs> data does not support your assertion. <laughs> no, he's not the bug, that's true. No, I don't think so. I don't think the same person would have called it Edge 5 at all, Ducky. I think Agility 6 with a... Like, obviously it sucks until... It doesn't suck, but... It's obviously not very good and it's not ideal until you get Blodge. <laughs> like, obviously he's not optimal until he gets Blodge, but... You know, no, I don't think Bams has star for skill slots at all. I, I completely disagree, Ducky. I think they get tremendous value from stats. Like, I would go Blodge. I would go Blodge, obviously. Um, but I think after Blodge, they just need stats. I, I would go four stats and Blodge, no no doubt. Any, any four. Any combination. <laughs> yeah, Edge 6 is better for passing on Blood Bowl 2 than it is in Tabletop. But the thing is, Vamps get a lot from Edge 6 because they get gazes in, in, uh, in tackle zones, which is pretty good. I wouldn't take AV. When I said any, I meant uh, movement, strength, or agility. <laughs> but like any combination, what's the worst combination you could have? 8, 5, 5, 8. Blodge. It's an alright player, isn't it? 
<laughs> oh, and he's got the fucking so he's got a wizard and vans. Horrible. Yeah, I'd go dodge. Sure. Right, I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna block with him in case he gets a fucking blitz and <laughs> kills my team. I've learnt my lesson. <laughs> Don't try to use the actual players that you have. Just protect them in, in the hopes that, you know that they won't fucking die of turn one. I don't even know what I do here, score as fast as possible or what? Maybe. Maybe I just go for a handoff to the wolf to score. He got a blitz! <laughs> My walls were protected! <laughs> Brilliant! <laughs> I mean, he's still gonna get the ball and gaze half my team. Add six is gonna catch the ball in the rain. Yeah, that's a sick kick, isn't it? An absolutely disgusting kick. Well, they're, they're more protected than not protected at all, aren't they? It's not that easy to hit them. You'd have to gaze one, and then run around, and then hit them like this. I mean, that was... They were pretty protected. I guess you you would actually you would you would gaze this one, wouldn't he? No, but then there, then there was a gap between, so he'd have to gaze this and then run around. So. Can't say no. He's, he's had six. Will catch it, won't he? Oh no, he's not. Oh, he's bloodlust with with two bloodlust. That's a great start, isn't it? This blitz isn't that bad. Actually, it's just making him roll more bloodlusts. Two plus gears and a tackle zone. Pretty good. Edge six already paying off for him. Yes, gaze is gaze is depending on dependent upon agility. Yes, it is a straight agility roll. Minus one um, per tackle, other tackle zone on the guy that you're gazing. Because obviously, like if you're just gazing a guy, you've got a Venus tackle zone, so that isn't a minus one. So, because he was in not only the victim's tackle zone, but another one, it was minus one. And obviously, that's still a two plus because he's at six. So, yeah, at six, pretty good for a vampire, I think. Yeah, I'd, I'd heard the name before. I know, I know I'd heard the name, and he, he said... Um, <laughs> he said, damn, Jimmy. <laughs> I like Adj6 on, on TBH. Is he going to pick it up with his movement seven guy? Because he's got the sidestep. Hey. So he's lost a reroll and stunned two players. That's pretty good. He's in two tackles on in the rain, so it's. He's catching it on a six, isn't he? Oh, okay, he is. Course. He rolls the six to catch it. <sighs> 
If that isn't the story of my life, I don't know what is. Nah, maybe they should block for those guys that are just gonna block. <laughs> Vampire caught ball and at the end, yeah. That's it. This is how to lose against Vamps. I mean, I could have settled better against the Blitz, but still pretty bad, wasn't it? Cash was a nightmare because <laughs> it used my reroll and didn't get me anywhere. I shouldn't probably shouldn't have rerolled it. Like he has started with the ball on my on my offensive drive, so don't think he gives a fuck about the odd stun or anything. Yeah, he's down two rerolls, I guess now, though, or he doesn't reroll it. I'm surprised he didn't die there. Uh, mine would have died. <laughs> um, can't surf the sidestepper. Where's the dirty player here? Double GFI from him. No, I can maybe just hit the ball. Need a removal. Ah, oh, yes, good. Good. He's not fast enough to get around the other side though, is he? I needed GFI so that Got the uh, frenzy, frenzy trap avoidance. I guess I've got to do it. Oh yeah, it's still just a one dance. Do that. It's in the scat is much better, isn't it? If I get him. But then less chance to knock him over. Fuck it. Maybe 
made outrageous, outrageous dice rolls this turn. GFI to foul, only one assist. Foul him, can I? Yeah. But <laughs> at least he's off for the turn. I did swear on falling forever, but look at him, he's fucking strength 5, agility 6. <laughs> yes, thank you, thank you, Lil Baz and Kurgor, yeah, thank you. No, when he's this good, when he's this, when he's this fucking good squirrel, dude, I had to foul him. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, it's a joke, isn't it? It's just too easy to recover the ball, isn't it? Um, with that, with that edge six guy. Wolf got hit and didn't die. Unbelievable. Oh yeah, the TD fouls, they were brilliant. Yeah, that was blue ball. I oh, just rolled a five plus anyway. Ah, oh, well, you see, I shouldn't have worried about fucking fouling the, uh... Oh. <sighs> the fuck is this? Seriously fucking stupid is what is what it is. We get guard in there. I knew I shouldn't have fucking done that block for I can't get fucking guard in there, can I? To be found making GFIs like a boss. One dice with wrestle.
Yeah, exactly. Yeah, okay. Eating more things. Very good. Didn't cast the wolf. Unbelievable. Yeah, well, he's on offense now. I mean, in a way, it's not that bad, is it? Because I've kind of put him on offense twice. <laughs> and he has to activate more vamps on offense. He's only taken one, only got one thrall off the pitch. Pretty lucky to say how many times he's bitten them, he's just done stuns. Well, they sure need their wolves to be working. <laughs> That's basically all they, all they need, isn't it? Not sure I like his play here. Well, I mean, I like it, but um, <laughs> I'm not sure it's so good strategically. Got a lot better with his with his magical. Uh, Magical fucking one dice there, didn't it? Double GFI from him. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven GFI from him. It's still fucking frenzy trap isn't it one two one two three four five six seven gfi gfi no frenzy's not near reaching um Is one dodge or two GFI? What well, two GFIs is better, isn't it? I could hit him with a block guy just so that. Because I can't really accept a bolt down anyway, can I? Put him in the wrong square. I've got to hit from here now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. GFI. It's going to go there. It's going to be uphill. Whatever happens now. I meant. What I meant to do was I meant to uh, get the ghoul in here, which would be a GFI. Didn't. So now you can just sidestep to there. Double GFI or one dice it. Yeah, I can't surf him. Just trying to fucking hit him. Double GFI. No, just one dice. 
Okay. All right, 30% might get him. He is going to sidestep to here. If I go there and do double GFI to hit him, then I only hit him once. But no, I've got, I've got to do it. I? I wish I'd done that GFI. And then wherever he sidestep to, it would have been a one dice. No, it's two dice in uphill. He sidestep to here. Generally. Unless I do it. Unless I do it this way. Which I'm not going to. So yeah, I should have. I should have done it. Done it now. But it's also too risky to uphill, right? Oh yeah, three plus dodge and then. Choose the pal. I've got no rerolls left. I used the reroll before I double fucking scold with the, uh, the other one. Now he just gets to surf me. So that's not so good, is it? He's not going to surf me. Yeah, three plus dodge. Yeah. So where was I here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that would probably been better. Yeah, but you can't see it because of what happened rolled in the dice. But would have been, a, might have been a push, you know. What I mean? Still, no. Nah, they had six. <laughs> I mean, he could. It's but it's a lot of rolls without dodges, isn't it? Hopefully this is where I put lost foot to the back, so yeah. <laughs> Your fault. He could have just sidestepped to here and then he could have surfed him. He's just an absolute madman. It wasn't a madman. I mean, this is safer now. It's two plus with a reroll to get away, whereas there's no rerolls here. You'd have had to make what two two plus rolls, and then another one. Or oh, that reroll. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I should have made the three plus dodge. Yeah, maybe that was the. So I was never going to fucking get him down on an uphill one, was I? Whereas on a one dice, there was a decent shot. It's just a two plus, isn't it, to make the dodge? And the GFI. But he could have just literally sidestepped to here. And then, uh, let's see. Oh, wow. I wonder how much of it he stacked. I didn't stack any of it. Shit. Just do it anyway. <laughs> Classic. Classic call opponent, that, isn't it? Classic. <laughs> I'll do the first dodge. Burn my reroll. Do the rest of it anyway.
<laughs> Deliberately didn't stack the action. Used riddle on the first roll. Did rest of action anyway. I mean, that like that's the thing. If you're gonna fucking use it anyway, <laughs> just do it all in one go anyway. If you're gonna fucking do it, you know, that's what I think. Yeah, at least we didn't one by one. Yeah, that's true. Who gets the first tackle? Well, a, a fucking... I nearly went tackle on the mighty blow guard. Oh. That's true, BZL. It's not of our habit of being. That's true. List again, once more. My vamps aren't blitzable easily. I've learnt my lesson. Don't ever try to block. I'm, I'll be like I'll be like Dord forever now. I'll never try to block with my best players. I'll just keep them back in case of a blitz. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. Don't like him using the add six one there, because could have used him here, couldn't he? Oh wow, twelve, eleven, four. Fuck it, I might go vamps then. Oh, yeah, that's true, Murloc, Joe. Yeah, that's true. Very good. Yeah, at least this kick's better. Yeah, exactly. This isn't anywhere near as bad as the first one. Yeah, I would have, I would have gone for uh, doing him, because then you could do it in a Get more value from your ad six. Oh, man, I'm tempted by a little last-minute vamps now, BZM. There is uh, a week left, Merlock Joe. About a week, yeah. Well enough time to get a 25 game vampire team in. Yep.
Okay, so I want to go down this side. Couldn't be better. players on my team. One dice pal him. One dice pal him. Dodge with him for I don't think they look really good on paper, but yeah, it's not just paper, like they can be really good, but um, usually aren't. Tackle's really the one that we care about. Isn't it? So. It can be good. It is a clear two D in the ball, but it not with not with tackle. Also, allowing him a clear two D on the ball may mean that he doesn't uh, he doesn't use the wizard. <laughs> Exactly, you know, you can, can gaze anybody and do anything. So. I'd rather he was tempted to not use the wizard, you know, out of greed, basically. You know, I realised that as soon as I made that block, I'm like, shit, now I can't make this two dice block. Like, and if I had made that two dice block, maybe I'd have been all right.
Yeah. He did get a clear one with Taco in the end. Brilliant. I guess I should have put the wolf there. But then he could have. Hmm. He could have just come. No, but then he would have needed. He only needed pushes the way I did it, so yeah, I guess I was wrong. I'm also done it. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. Pass. Right. Storm. Rain fucks me. No brand deal, unfortunately I'm getting fucked by vamps rather than winning with them. by the rain again. <sighs> he rolls fucking fives and sixes to pick up. And I can't roll fucking to two, threes and fours. For fuck's sake. Really fucking frustrating.
Can't believe I just rolled precisely what I needed for the rain to fuck me twice. So dumb. Oh look, he's got an agility 6 guy. It's lucky for him, isn't it? Rock the dog removed him? Oh well. To be fair, he did block a dog and not remove him last time, so... I guess he was due. Go 2-0 up now. Every, every bloodlust's a stun. Just quietly. He has rolled a fair amount of bloodlusts, to be fair. But then they haven't been very punishing because he got a blitz. And twice. I couldn't roll some fucking threes and threes and fours when I had to. Did, did he did he cheat by using it in Blood Bowl 2? No. Should have been a 4 plus pass. But yeah, he's just going to score. Fun times, isn't it? Fun. Give a fuck about the paper when I've lost. <laughs> when I've lost 3 0, Tom Randhill. The paper goes out of the window. Tilted, I couldn't get to the fucking ball. Right? <laughs> I was, <laughs> there was literally nothing I could do. <laughs> so, 
and maybe I can get a maybe I can get a you know surf his god vampire and get him out but no in fact what will happen is actually what will happen is I'll make the surfs his his guys will come back or have nothing happen to them and my wolf and uh, white will stay out so what a fucking fun game this has been I tell you Can do what he wants now, but I don't give a fuck. Yeah, strength five, yeah. some bullshit. Not really, Gherkin. Uh, Shawnee has done a few times. I have done occasionally, but it's fucking hard to play, you know, what's it called? Uh, it's hard to play Fumble after, after Blood Bowl 2, really. Just because the fucking graphics are not
Oh God, what can I possibly do? Be a vehicle. I'm having so much fun. Too much fun. Well, it's also that they have strength four, isn't it? And then ogres have more strength than strength four. And everyone ignores snotling tackle zone, so being able to hypnogaze the snotling isn't very powerful. And ogres hypnogaze themselves. <laughs> yeah, they're not fast. Don't have block at all. Yeah, no cost. Either. That's what I'm thinking, Mike, the machine. That's what I'm fucking thinking. Stink.
enough my turn. I was just doing, just doing guild wars in uh, idle heroes. God, Monster Hunter, fuck off. I thought it looked shit, and I played one game, and I thought, yeah, this is shit. Not one game, you know, one quest or whatever. It was entirely, entirely as bad as I thought it would be. I'm just quiet, I'm just fucking pissed off. I mean, as you can see, I'm losing 2-0 with the vampire. He's got two. Two fucking blitzes and just the dice, you know, just failed me. I had no tackle and, you know, he had the strength fucking four and everything. So it's not like my dice had to be good once it had gone so badly, but then they weren't. Surfing a throw, yeah, huge. <laughs> Tier three, Ducky, they're tier two. But yeah, obviously they're tier two because they mostly play at low TV. Once they get to hit high TV, they're pretty good against bash teams. Just fucking dicey, aren't they? There's no such thing as 2.5 BB snap. The only thing that matters are the tears as the Blood Bowl Rules Commission defined them. <laughs> right, I have to come back from 2 0 down. So if I'm even trying to win this. I need to hit the ball pretty quickly, don't I? Now, for some reason, I thought this wasn't so bad. <laughs>
If I go there and I hit him, he's gonna. Uh, he's gonna sidestep to there anyway. Uh, if I go here, he's gonna sidestep to here. So it's gonna be into an uphill anyway, so I might as well do this. Get a skull. That could have been power, couldn't it? Same. Yeah, so would I. So would I. I mean, but I'm I'm not going to draw by doing that, am I? You know, like obviously I could just play properly. I could have surfed this guy, or I could have fouled that guy, or whatever. I could have played properly, but I'm not going to fucking get a draw out of it by doing that, am I? That's the thing. Just fucking waiting to lose if I do that. Yeah, exactly. I had to. I had to, I had to make a shit play to try and to try and fucking just get lucky, and obviously it didn't work. And now I'm gonna lose three nil or four nil. But it doesn't matter. Losing two one is exactly the same as losing four nil, isn't it? At the end of the day. Not very happy about it, though. <laughs> oh, there's no 1.5. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, there was 1.5, yeah, because they wanted the new races to not be as good as Tier 1, yeah. Yeah, that's true. I'll give you that. Because, basically, they, they were just scared of fucking up, weren't they? That's why those three extra ones were... We're meant to be in between. Which I think is a pathetic, chicken shit way of designing teams, you know? We're gonna make them shit on purpose so that they don't offend anybody. You know, it's fucking lame, isn't it? It's a pathetic thing, I think. Anyone can just make a fucking boring shit team, can't they? <laughs> you know? I could, I could invent a thousand teams, a hundred teams tomorrow, maybe not a thousand, but a hundred teams tomorrow that are just like the fucking secret league teams. It doesn't take any fucking thought to make another shit team that doesn't make any waves, does it? Brett did get uh, did get agility access though, didn't they? After afterwards. <laughs> Cool, I'll make it two days. Oh no, I can't. That's not a block. Oh. Hmm. Can't block there. Can't make a dodge. Can't do fucking anything. So we're going for a one dice. <laughs> one dice fishing for a pal. <laughs> Oh, great. No, it's a skull. <laughs> Two one dice blitzes, both skulls. Yeah, I think, it's, I think it's lame what they've done with new teams. Like, look at look what they did with Brett, you know, not giving them agility access or strength access. <laughs> you know, they made them, they put they slotted them in at this kind of not as good as a real team tier, which I, know, I just think it's boring and lame. Like, that's what happened with Korn, wasn't it? They, they weren't offensive, Korn. 
Like, obviously it's better than leaving it up to Sinai to make fucking, you know, mighty blow shoe hands linemen and uh, fucking strength five horns, frenzy, break, tackle, claw, fucking mighty blow, like heralds that are 300k that are like better than fucking things. Yeah, the original corn, you know, the original corn team was so horrific. Fair enough, you don't want stuff like that to happen, but if you're even vaguely, if you've fucking got a brain and have played Blood Bowl before, you shouldn't fucking make anything like that, should you? So... The greatest Blood Bowl team of all time. Yeah, Skuro goes on like Tom Brady. Look at this, the fucking, the fucking Herald. Strength six it is. That, that's like a better than a 300k star player for 160. That can get more skills. That's fucking nuts. I'm not going to mention the whiz. Because <laughs> I'd like the touchdown. And on the right side here, yeah. Herald's unbelievable, isn't it? That fucking sign I think. Yeah, free zombie, thanks. I don't think it matters now, but thanks everyone for the free zombie. Yeah, the Herald, the Herald is basically like a legend bull centaur, isn't it? Um, yeah. Just defended. Who would have thought? No, I'll do the community a favour, shall I?
my canoring threat so <laughs> oh yeah, public service, not community service. That's what you do in jail, isn't it? <laughs> Maybe it's different because they've got an apple, haven't they? Uh, they've got an apple, uh, vamps. Fair region, apple, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that Herald is, if it was a bull centaur, it'd have plus movement, two plus strength, bull centaur. It's got sure feet and sprint like a bull centaur. It doesn't have a thick skull though, but instead it has strip ball, and then yeah, horns, claws, deserving presence. So it's got it's a it's a bull centaur with seven skills, including obviously disturbing presence isn't that good, but it's got claws and horns, which is both really good, and it's only forty k more, <laughs> and it's essentially. Better than any legend uh, Bull Centaur could be for 160k. Pretty, pretty special. Yeah, Goblin Troll, I guess, yeah, because it's the only thing you're gonna apple on the team. And I guess Underworld will apple their blitzers and stuff. Without wild animal. A legend yet be without wild animal. It's pretty good, isn't it? Oh, yeah, because it's got claw and uh, claw and disturbed presence. Yeah, so it's a yeti with two moves strength, agility, horns, which you can't get, strip, um, sure feet, sprint. So it's eight. It's an eight skill yeti. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four stats. And then strip show if it's pretty yeah, so yeah. It's 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 about the same is is it the same or like ten K more than a Yeti? And it doesn't have wild animal or loner. And he's on that one to scale up. Kaz here, that'd be really good. Mm. Oh, I like that G6. Like, yeah, obviously, for now, it's, it's not so good with uh, the RG. G5, but it would pay off eventually.
Yeah, now it would put the 81, now it would, but eventually it will pay off, yeah, that's the thing. Eventually it will pay off. And it already pays off a little bit by having gays. Sixty, isn't there? Isn't there? One hundred and sixty. No boat. What a nice, what a nice fella. By the zombie, thanks. Thanks. No, I don't want him, do I? I'll turn him down. It's horrible. What a fucking horrible match. <sighs> My 13 GFI didn't fail one. I knew, I knew I was making a lot of GFI. Dodges were actually pretty good. Pickups just failed the fucking crucial ones. Meanwhile, he actually had poor bloodlusts. Good dodges, because they weren't all two pluses, couldn't have been. Well, they could have been all two pluses. Made a lot of dodges, didn't he? Hit no gazes, who knows. Catches, pickups, all good. Particularly the catch. The six plus catch, then the five plus pickup. Those two rolls that he just wasn't going to really roll, it, but he got really lucky on. Yeah, I just did that for fun. He's uh, saying I'll turn him down. All right, can take tackle on him. I don't think movement's very important. And I'll finally have a tackler after a million fucking games. I wanted to go mighty blow tackle piling on, but. Guard was sensible. But in that game, I would really like Mighty Blow Tackle instead of Guard. But never mind. <laughs> yeah, random boy, I nearly did. I nearly did. I was nearly when we were writing at the end. I was like, you know, I fucking failed those two push rolls and I had to think about a whiz for the entire game and I thought, oops. Oops, better not mention that. See, look, buying a rookie dog wouldn't even be bad, 220k. No, try to buy a white instead of a zombie. Pretty smart. So, that was a pretty rough loss, wasn't it? Maybe I could have done some things differently, but... Uh, the, the, the six plus catch was the killer, really on the blitz. That was horrible. I think probably a misplay should have gone with the edge six guy because then he would have made the uh, he would have made the gaze, but then he would have been defenseless. But he'd also been strength five. But I don't know. I'd have liked. I'd have. I would have gone for it with the edge six guy just so then his uh, his gaze would have worked. M much more likely for the gaze to work, and then he'd only be catching it with a minus two, which would be a three plus catch instead of a six plus catch. <laughs> but. Um, didn't matter. Yeah, I didn't really have the movement, but didn't really have the movement to get the other one there. I mean, if he could have got there, it's you know, it's I just said maybe a maybe a misplay. I would have tried to have got him there, or maybe he's just done something else. I don't know. Still made a, rolled a lot of dice that turn. 
failed a lot of failed a lot of bloodlust, but they were all just stuns, which you know didn't help me really. I could have done with a few of them going down, but ultimately the the five, the five plus pickup was a killer. The five plus killer was horrible. Five plus pickup was horrible because without that, I could have probably uh, picked it up and still scored and been one one at half time and. Uh, who knows? Yeah, it doesn't show rerolls. Yeah, it doesn't. It when you when you quad skull, it only shows one double skull, which is fucking stupid. Um. Yeah, the dice the dice thing is is complete garbage. Yeah. Yeah, it's funny that isn't it, Johnny Five? Yeah, it is funny. Right. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.